Welcome. The purpose of this tutorial is to introduce you to the block cutting and associated geometric tools. During the tutorial I will cover cutting a block by drawing the plane, the protractor tool, using outline blocks and finally cutting a block by selecting the plane. Further information on the topics covered is available in the help file. There are likely to be many instances, particularly when drawing complex roof shapes, where you will need to cut a block to create your desired geometry. This is generally done using the draw plane method. I will demonstrate how the model you see is constructed from a basic block using the cutting tools. To create this model, I will use both block cutting methods. First of all, creating the single sided sloping roof here using the draw plane method and secondly creating a small foyer roof here which is cut to join the main roof slope using the select plane method. We start with a U-shaped block which must be cut in different planes to create the single sided roof slope of 15 degrees. To do this I first need to create three separate blocks to produce the three different roof slopes. I select the block, select the cut block tool, then check that the cutting method is set to draw plane. Now move the cursor onto the top surface, click on the first corner, then click on the second corner to define the first cutting plane line. We define the second cutting plane line with a further click. The two parts are now shown as different colours. If you're happy that your cut line is correct, complete the cut with a final left click of the mouse. I'll use the same process to create the third block. Note the appearance of the second and third blocks in the navigation panel. Each of the individual blocks can now be edited as required. The protractor tool is used to draw perimeter lines and partitions at specified angles in relation to the current drawing plane. In this case I wish to create a 15 degree single sided roof slope on each of the building blocks. I start by selecting the block at the north end of the building and clicking on the cut block tool. The protractor can be activated from the drawing options data panel which is displayed when any of the drawing tools are used. Expand the protractor menu and click on the tick box to switch on the protractor tool. The protractor increments in degrees can be changed by typing in the required number here. I'll leave it set to the default 15 degrees. Moving the mouse back to the edit screen, we see that the standard cursor has been replaced by the protractor. The protractor cursor orientation shows which plane is selected. Moving it about the different surfaces of the model, you can see the different planes change colour as they become the active drawing plane. The protractor automatically rotates in the same orientation as the active drawing plane. Move the protractor onto the top surface and click on the end snap point to start the first cutting plane line. Define the first line by clicking on the top northwest corner. Define the second cutting plane line with a click using the protractor snap. Complete the cut with a final left click if you're happy that the cutting plane line has been correctly defined. Now click once on the top block and delete it to produce the roof slope of 15 degrees.
I'll now use exactly the same process to cut the second roof slope. Select the final block to be cut, click on the cut block tool, click once to start the cut and use the lower end snap point on the first block to finalise the first cutting plane line. Move the cursor onto the vertical surface of the west wall using the protractor snap to locate the line horizontally then left click to define the second cutting plane line left click again to confirm the cut and then select and delete the surplus block I've added an entrance block here and switched off the protractor to show you how to cut a block by selecting the plane I'll add a pitched roof joining the main sloping roof as shown at the beginning of the tutorial. The easiest way of adding this roof will be to use an outline block. An outline block is created and edited in the same way as a building block but is just a 3D shape without associated building elements such as walls, floors, roof etc. Outline blocks are very useful in the creation of more complicated models. Because they're relatively simple objects, they can be manipulated freely without worrying about intersections, which is highly significant. Once the required geometry has been established, outline blocks can be converted to conventional blocks. First I'll add a construction line 2 metres high to enable easy location of the apex of the roof. Now select add block, change the block type to outline block, change the line type to polygon and I'll leave the other options as they're set. I want to draw the vertical face of the roof and extrude it back towards the building. Place the cursor on the west wall of the entrance block press and hold shift to lock the drawing plane click on the first point release a shift and use the snaps to create the vertical surface I can now drag the face back but importantly I can take it through and past existing objects it's generally easier to extrude the outline block fully through the existing object then left click to confirm the extruded length and cancel the add block function. If this was a building or component block it would have resulted in a block intersection error. I now need to cut the outline block so that it finishes flush with the intersecting roof block. The second method of cutting a block is the select plane method where an existing surface is used to define the cutting plane. Select the outline block and cut tool as before and then change the cutting method to select plane. Place the cutting tool cursor on the plane which you want to cut along and click once then left click again to confirm the cut now select and delete the surplus block outline blocks are not part of the model and therefore don't appear in the navigation panel we now need to convert the outline block to a building block select the block then select the option to convert selected outlines to blocks we want to convert it to a building block 
and we'll choose a wall thickness of 0.1 meters. Click OK to confirm and notice that the colour of the block changes and it's now shown as block 5 in the navigation panel. Further information on these topics can be found in the help file and other tutorials.